Hey friends, I'm Rip. Could you hook us up with a like for this video? We would really appreciate it. This morning when I woke up, I saw some gaming news that had me stop my car, pull over, and smile in happiness. Let's get straight into squad news. Mega Man Smash Bros type game just released this morning. Holy cow. Fan-made Mega Man games aren't something new to the community. We already had Street Fighter X Mega Man that did really well and was actually officially endorsed by Capcom themselves. And with that, a Smash Bros player named Keish Square this morning released a game called Mega Man Arena. As of right now, Mega Man Arena features 27 stages and 9 characters, including characters like Quick Man, Air Man, Bubble Man, Wood Man, and many more. And it looks like the game is played in Smash Bros fashion, but one of my favorite things is the boss mode that I see where you can team up with multiple people on screen and fight some of the biggest, baddest bosses from the Mega Man franchise. Mega Man Arena is available free on their website, but I will leave a link in the description below. And if you are looking to play this game, you might want to do it right now because some games like this sometimes don't stick around forever. Will you be playing Mega Man Arena today? Let me know down in the comments below. Saddle up Switch fans because Wild Guns Reloaded is now coming officially to the Nintendo Switch. Wild Guns is a fast paced gallery shooter on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System which is amazing but Wild Guns Reloaded is an updated version of the SNES Classic. Wild Guns Reloaded also features new characters, modes, stages, and weapons. And one of my favorite features as always is a must in gaming and any game where it's possible is the option for 4 player co-op. WGR launches on Nintendo Switch in April and is available right now as you know on PS4 and PC. Just a few days ago, I reported that Nintendo is letting users leave user reviews on their official Nintendo website, and now they've reversed it. Already, a couple days later. Late last night, February 28th, Nintendo left a message on a game page on their website that explains that customer reviews have been removed from all pages as the company evaluates this feature and its functionality. Nintendo has not explained to us why they decided to do this or not. They kind of just left us in the dark to wonder on our own. Which, like we've seen on Steam before, a bunch of people can go into a game and leave it a ton of bad ratings, a ton of overall low scores and with that the game can kind of get screwed in a way. I personally wish Nintendo would have left this option available to the community but then again we don't know what Nintendo is seeing. Maybe they were seeing some unjust, unfair, downright dumb reviews and scores for certain games but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Are you going to miss it or did you not really care in the first place? With tons of Toys R Us stores coming to a close with all their bankruptcy filings, I saw Nintendo Life this morning do a really cool tribute to the Toys R Us stores. So with that, I kind of wanted to do the same thing and leave you guys with one Toys R Us commercial, my personal favorite. Check it out. Trying to find the Nintendo games you want can be a lot like being in the Nintendo game. Another day. Come on. You can end up looking in all the wrong places. Stand back, son. Or you can go to Toys R Us. Toys R Us has the world's biggest selection of Nintendo games and accessories at everyday low prices. Next time, let's just come to Toys R Us. Yeah! And that's it from us here at Superhero Game Squad for the day. Make sure to subscribe because we'll see you tomorrow. We are here five days a week. Make sure to leave a like on the video. It means the world to us. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you have a great day. See you next time.